welcome back to episode 2 of Satisfactory. So, again, back here producing. I have just been on a biomass hunt. And this is definitely one of the hardest starting areas because of the biomass. Uh, I've had to go further and further away. I've had one death already. Uh, dying to some beasts because just having to travel so far for the biomass. But have these topped up again. Now one of these is low. That one there. Um, so I have to watch that. But I am definitely producing stuff. And my aim now is I'm going to start unlocking a few tiers. So I pick up some of this stuff here. Uh, one or two of those. Do I get a couple of old piles of cable and wire? Now I think I have to rejig my wire here because there's too much going in for cables. I have tons of cables and not as much wire. I need to want to produce more wire. But first of all, we're going to. Um, well, actually, first of all, I want to give a shout out to the Satisfaction uh, group. I'm having a lot of fun at the moment on their Discord and a lot of the stuff they're doing. And they're doing some crazy builds. One thing I want to mention is Brain today. <laughs> I was on today, I was on the stream, and he got me my first view of. The little golf cart being driven around his factory and the fact that it actually has a beacon on the top so when you do sit into it you can put your beacon out on top and the siren this little siren on it oh, I was busting my old laughing at it like it was so hilarious this little thing speeding around between his railway tracks on his build it was just it was hilarious and I can't wait to experience all of those little things that looks and makes this game so much fun to play but anyways let's get back to the thing so first of all I want to do this I want to get the uh, fear research started because I have stuff example of um, clocking and stuff I want to unlock underclocking because I'm with biomass now, I need to underclock my machine so I'm using less uh, capacity or so less power. Like if I underclock my machines by half, I'm using one third of the power. So technically, I can have two machines having the same output as one machine um, at two thirds of the cost of uh, power, and that's what I need. I'm I need to conserve my power. So, first of all, oh yes, so the MAM station, I think I've unlocked that now, or have I? Special, yes, MAM station, and this takes some reinforced plates, two of them actually. I just need to get this up and running, so I can start researching all the tiers. Uh, especially the underclocking one and the overclocking. I need five. MAM is my favorite part about making sure I have everything researched. Find everything and just research it and research it. Uh, because it can pay dividends down the line. Now, uh, alien organisms, so I need. Power slugs. Okay, so this is where get up here. I have some power slugs that should help me start this up. Two, one. Wow. So now that's New unlocked. unlocked. Um, 
I want New to search available in the MAM. Yeah, so I'm gonna oh, I can't twenty five I can start this one. That's okay. And I've seen that there's a bug here as well. <laughs> well, I have my drop pod back, so while that's researching there, I need to make 25 plates. I also need to do this. Uh, but what I can do is, while I'm doing that, I can shove this in here and get this part of it kicked off. Actually, throw all my resource at these now just to get these under the way and the mam. And ta da! One, two, three, four. And also, what I need to do a look at is maybe setting out an area uh, in regards production. I need to do something with my iron production. I need to up that, up my game on that. And so base building. Milestone reach. You have unlocked several structures aimed to provide so the first needed yes. to build base Look at tower. And Not too bad. Logistics are right. Field research. Now the next one is tier two. Organizing and sectioning of your factory. Uh, so I have parts assembly. Obstacle clean. Well, I actually should go for obstacle clean next because that chainsaw will come in handy. Definitely in handy. Now, so these two I cannot do yet. Jump pads and logistics mark two, but the resource sink obstacle on this I can unlock all over these. So that all right, that's heading there. So as I said, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this unlocked, this current one. And this one unlocked. I can't do this yet because I don't have the pads. Quartz. I can research quartz. I've got a lot of few bits here. So I'm going to throw together a lot of researches. I'm going to try and get a couple more of those. And then I can get unlocked. Unlocked. And um, I'll bring you back in when I'm that far anyways. And we'll see how we're getting on. So, see you in a second. Well, I have to say I love the new man uh, research system at uh, the tier trees here so the way they've actually done it and laid it out that you have to have the different parts and you just it slightly gets harder every time so the likes of this is so what I've done so far is I got the alien carapace got those research and the alien organs got those research so we're up to and I got this researched as well so we still need this, but we need mycelia, the frames, we need this, but we need the rotors and the reinforced plates, and this we need five more carapaces. The caterum, so we got the first two done, we got the first two done, and now we're just down to the quick wire. Flower petals all done, they're all finished. Got color cartridge unlocked, color gun. Nutrients here, I just got the nuts done. I don't have any of the bacon yet or the pale berry. So I'll have to hold on to some of those. I get them. This one, the power shard again. We're missing the reinforced iron plates. The quartz one, I got these done. So just they just needed uh, the raw quartz. So they were pretty easy. Silicon all that's unlocked. This one now, I need the processed quartz and the iron plates. And then the sulfur was the same thing. So I, I love this how it's, it's progressible. You can progress through the different stages. So as I get the next ones, I'll get unlock more levels as I get more the reinforced iron plates building. So I've still got a load of stuff now with regards to plates and all those. We're just continue to build and do a few bits. So you can see I opened up the capacity of some of them here. So, but, and I also in here the hub terminal, I got these three. 
done. So I've tier one completely unlocked. Field research, logistics and base building. Two, I have the parts assembly. Copper sheet is definitely a new one for me. Uh, the smart plane, I'm not going to need that until I go for the space elevator level two. Got the chainsaw, biofuel, and the awesome shop and the awesome sink. Now the only thing is, for if I want the awesome sink, is I need 15 reinforced <laughs> iron plates. And I started doing this also in preparation for my factory, my beginner factory, or beginner iron factory, which is going to produce all that I need. Now I'll have to bring over some more iron. Because that's only a normal mode. There's only 60 coming out of that. So, I'm going to need a lot more iron uh, to get that. So, I, at the moment, what I need to do is I need to go on a biomass hunt again. And I'm going to build out this platform in my factory and go hunting for more iron nodes that maybe I can transport over here. It's part of just the beginner factory, or even maybe a place I can build beginner factories just getting a lot of the reinforced iron plates together and the modular frames and those sort of items as well have to be looked at being produced so yep yeah, I'll get that done and I'll bring you back in and hopefully it'll be daylight this time well my second row have iron ore has arrived so here what I've done is my start of my iron layout for my starter base so here I have out of this miner here pushing 60 and then they're divided down into four machines now I have each of these machines running at half power again to conserve power they run at a third of the power when you run at half the speed and that's why I've doubled them up and they're all creating ingots and then these ingots are being pushed upstairs I might reverse the flow of this one here that it pushes out the other end and again this is expandable out so once I get Mark II miners or Mark II belts I can overclock this up to 200% and then upstairs here then I'm gonna be building the these guys into plates I'm gonna do the same with the next row and I'm also going to pull over earth. There's a third iron, normal iron node over there. I'm going to pull it across as well. And I have three of those here, all producing plates, rods, and screws. And then I'm going to push them up to the third floor and start producing my reinforced iron plates and the modular frames. Because I need to get those underway. And while I'm all doing that, I'm going to expand out my. Uh, biomass a bit here so I'm going to be on the biomass for a bit because I need to mass produce the copper plate copper rolls of copper and all of that stuff there for pipes and stuff I need to get all of that underway before I even look at going for coal and my coal is there so then I'll also have to, to look at where I'm going to get my coal water for, for my co water farm for my coal so yeah the next the next part of the project and uh, my other I brought this one over from uh, where are you iron ore see it over there yeah see it there you can just see it and then there's another one off there 420 meters off that direction and I'm going to when I get all my iron producing I'm going to look at the same thing for my copper and my limestone now there's another copper over there I'm going to I think I'm going to create a small factory of copper over there for the copper rolls, I think they are. Aren't they the rolls? I'm not sure. I've also been doing this here. Just out of curiosity, just put a manufacturer together, put some screws in it, put some plates, and it's producing my reinforced iron plates while I'm doing other bits. I'm getting this factory up and running, I'll have reinforced iron plates. So yeah, so the next part is to expand this out a lot more, triple this in size, for uh, three more sections of producing the iron ingots, and then out this side is going to be my copper ingots, and I might push out my 
biomass out here. Uh, make it a bit more space over there. So yeah, wish me luck. Wonder how long it's going to take me. <laughs> Hopefully not all day. But anyways, I'll bring you back in when I have all of that up and ready and running. And we'll see then how we're going to get on. Ta-da! Oh my god! I finally got it done. Um, that took a lot longer because I had to keep rejigging layouts and rechecking uh, figures. As you can see, I'm playing for six hours. <laughs> uh, between that and collecting all more of uh, biofuel. Yeah, biofuel is definitely a limiting factor in the start. You spend a lot of time collecting it, and especially in this area. If you want to have an easy start, don't start over here. Start in one of the other areas where there's lots of biomass. Here it is. You're going around picking up for ages. But yes, look. Look. I have everything here but screws. So I'm not too reliant on screws as maybe a byproduct. I have a lot downstairs that I can use. I can potentially, if I need to, I can separate one of the this into collecting it. So everything here is working on an overspill uh, system. Uh, so there's manifold across all the feed, feeding in everything. The screw is the only thing that's producing exactly what is needed. The likes of the iron plates, the rods, the reinforced iron plates, they all are slightly overproducing the what is needed in the next stage. For the likes of my rods here, I don't need all of these rods. I don't need all the plates. I won't use up all the plates, so the rest will go into storage. The same with a lot of these here as well. You can see the likes of these systems here where the reinforced iron plates back up. Eventually when the whole system fills up, they'll all back up onto each of the smaller belts. And then whatever comes through will be feeding the system and going into storage. Because over here I'm producing the likes of 2.5 per machine, that's 7.5 overall. But then over here on these three machines, I'm only using three and a half, four and a half. So it's potentially three per minute. Again, this is a small scale factory. I wanted to make it as efficient as possible. So then when I'm working away at the neck, the copper production stage, these can be producing away. And just tipping away slowly but surely, gathering up all the materials. All of them are set here to overflow. This one is usually be the first to fill up because I think there's 30? There's 40 add-ins per minute feeding through here. Uh, potentially what I can do is reduce back that and direct some of them into the steel rods production. Ooh! What happened there? Two machines ran out of power. So down here is the biomass. Because now the system is on full tilt. I'm all running everything. They are taking a lot of strain. And you can see that's so it's produced everything you can. So I'll separate this down. And even down again. So you don't have a lot of biomass. You're constantly hunting for it. And that's taking time. That is taking time. Alright, up here. Take these bad boys over here. Yeah, they have some here. Break that down again. Not crap. I'm never catching up. Spent a lot of time just refeeding the system. I'm not getting to the point where all my boilers, all my biomass burners are full and I have loads still backed up because it's mostly leaves I'm gathering over here. A lot of these trees don't give wood, so I'm just gathering leaves. Maybe I should take a day trip out to the desert area, way over there, and just fill up, maybe, or head over there and take away. 
a lot of the biomass. But yeah, so at the moment, that's all the iron producing. I can get rid of this now as well. This was here just to reduce the plates on a short term basis. And again, I have loads of other bits here. And I've gathered up, see all these gathered up <laughs> through all my scavenging. <laughs> and also over here as well. And trying to unlock the lakes. So the Blade Runners. So Blade Runners are being unlocked. Can I get them? How much are they? Uh, oh. Oh, that's 50 caterham. I don't have 50 caterham wire. Ah, bummer. I think I have only like 30 or something. And in all my adventures, I haven't found a caterham node. I found sulfur. I found. found a sulfur. <laughs> that's about it. In all my explorations over that side. So again, I have to go on another scavenging hunt for more biofuel because I need to keep this system fed Thanks, it is producing a bit here slowly but surely I still have a lot of leaves actually going that's quite good but yeah I think I will go on another scavenge hunt for more biofuel and bring back another 2000 leaves from all across. I don't know how much is bare over there now. That'll also give time for all this produce up here. And now when I come back then, then it's a case of moving my this system here. I need to move this system up onto the platform here, refine it up at the top and start producing wire. My uh, the wire this what's they call them? Copper plates is it? How do I produce those? Copper sheets. Oh, they produce directly from the... That's good. Yeah, that's brilliant. Um, that should be relatively easy. Build up a whole system to utilize. Use up all 60 of this. Again, I'll be having the, the power to try and conserve. Yeah, so back out for more scavenging for biomass. Bring the chainsaw with me. I have no. Better bring some of this in case I need it. Actually, I should empty out some of my inventory. So that I have space for a lot of stuff. But yeah, I'm picking up all the ores around, so when I do unlock the resource sink. Eh, uh, where is it? Special? Or I could build it now. I might build it right here. Oh, she's a big boy. That's a big boy. Will the resource sink? Fit back here. Pick up this while I'm at it. I've been picking up all these nodes. I'm gonna feed all of this stuff into the resource sink. Come on, yep, that's it. I was gonna take a drink, but. Will it fit here? And it will. <laughs> oh, look at it! Right. Um, there's a stuff in here now I don't want to feed into it. That. That. You know, the coal green, the copper, all of that stuff. Sulfur. Um, don't want to see the bauxite into it. Or the catering. Is, is it a drain for power, actually? What is this chew on power? Well, there's no indication actually. Okay. Over here are you. What? Uh, 
that. Ah, uh, oh, these things are facing the other way. <laughs> oh God! I thought they were facing that way, actually. Are right, you click around here? I love how you can bring these right back around these. What? Come on, around here. You're going around here. There. Not too bad. I wonder are these back to front they are. I'm going to leave that in there. This is that's all the sulfur coming over first. Points to the next coupon. Come on! <laughs> oh, don't you just hate this? <laughs> just mark one pence. Wait for it. There she goes. Oh, look at the spike in power! suffers 20 coupons a bit. Well, at least they'll get rid of all this. What's all this stuff here? Let me see in here. Come on. All this sulfur, coal. I think they'll fetch a fair price. So, but I can let it build up while I go hunting. <laughs> and I know the first thing I am buying. And I'm sure everyone else knows as well. It's the way we're around. Is it? Or is it just both sides? It's just... Oh, it's regular, both sides. Woohoo! Look at this. Attachments. Foundations. Here's the one I'm getting. That is the first day I'm getting. I've seen this, as I've seen this in the last day. It was nuts playing this one. Watching the guys using that. Uh, railings, statues, equipment. Have to get the coffee cup. Parts. Ooh, got that. Rotor. 100 rotor for three tokens. Wow, actually. 500. It seems to stack. Stack them. It's actually quite good. Waltz. I'm not going to get too big into this yet. Pipeline wall attachments. Foundations. There's loads of those there. Get all those options. But yeah, this is my first. Where's, where's my tokens? I've got two. Look at. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, I'm going hunting for my biomass and then I'm coming back and I'm going to see how much tokens I have and can I get my little buggy. <laughs> Can't wait. Oh, it'll be the first time I drive it. But anyways, yeah, oh yeah, I was trying to, yeah, that's what I was meant to do, empty up my inventory. Oh man, yeah, there, look at this. I don't need, don't need these, 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 these. I don't need that, that. Um not gonna need that. Gonna put this in here too. Oh. Yeah, that's it. Off on the hunt, I'll probably come back and my biomass boilers will have shut down. But at least I'll have some back up here for stuff. But yeah, I'm gonna go back, fill my inventory, and see how we get on. I've just bought the coffee mug. 
<laughs> so <laughs> yeah, coffee mug bought. I bought two now. <laughs> um, where do we get these now? Oh, I think it's the equipment bench. Where? Uh, where are you? No. Is it here? Oh wait, wait, it's, it's not, it's, where is it? No. Um. Where do we, how do we get it? No, we don't unlock it here. Uh, we don't make it here. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Strange. <laughs> uh, we don't. Build it here, no. Right, I'll have to find out how to do that. How do we get the coffee mug? Uh, remove. I bought all. Or two of them. Another coupon. So the quartz are actually give 15, the sulfur gives 20, I found out. But yeah, done a lot of scavenging. I think brought back over 4,000 leaves. Of course the power had died out by the time I got back. And I wonder how these are doing. There's mainly 50 in each, yep. But yeah, nearly 4,000 leaves, got a lot of wood. So yeah, the next stage is to get my copper production up and running. Well, first of all, I'm going to check how to get my coffee mug. I have it. I have my coffee mug. It's actually here. When you purchase items, it comes here. So now I have two cups. Okay, I got a coffee mug. I I am definitely, when this coffee cup comes out <laughs> as a merch item, I'm buying it. <laughs> there are, I think it's like cool. Come on, drink a piece. Come on. We have to drink. We have to drink to our success of our factory. Drink. Drink. No. No, 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 no. Not do that. No. Yeah, that's it. Now drink show success. Yes! <laughs> Listen. Oh, I clinked the first time. Why did it clink the first time? <laughs> it didn't clink that time. <laughs> oh man. What's that up there? What up there? Yeah, all I can say is, I gotta finish up here. <laughs> I've spent so much time here getting biomass and getting this far. But yeah, I'm going to finish it up here, this video. And the next one I'm going to work on, the copper. I want to get all the copper production up and running. For the copper rolls and stuff. I'm going to build some more biomass generators. And I have to get a lot more biomass. Jeez, the biomass is a never ending story, isn't it? I never actually f suffered this much in previous saves with biomass. But I think that's just down to the um, just the scarcity of it. So, 
if you want to have an easy life next time, don't start in this part. Start in another part of the map. But anyways, that's it. That's it for today. Have a nice day. Salon.